Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911, back again with another. I don't know what to to call this. Non crating. I mean, I got a free uh, pallet or a skid with this, uh, but if you haven't read already by now, this is the Queen Studios Iron Man Mark Seven life size bust. This box is freaking massive. This one's number 682 of 1200. I have had this on pre-order for three years and I just got the, you know, pay the shipping notification from Spec Fiction Shop, so I paid it and it shipped right away and it got here from California to Canada in less than three days, like two, two days. It's crazy. Shipping was 400 US, which now seeing this box is kind of a steal. Uh, yeah. I mean, just maybe the skid alone is like 50 bucks, right? But man, I was, I, I even asked DHL, like if we weren't home to put it in the back porch, but there's no way the guy would have, the guy had a pump truck or like a pump cart to like move this. Uh, good thing my wife was home. She was able to open the garage, put it in here. But man, like, how can I show you guys? This, this is my foot. <laughs> this is probably the biggest statue box I've ever gotten, ever. Wow. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get my tripod. I just got home, it's in my parking spot. I can't even like bring the car in. It's outside there, uh, but geez. All right, gonna get my tripod. I'll probably unbox it here and then move it down to my basement to assemble it. And then it'll be probably much easier to, yeah, <laughs> to carry an empty box this size instead of trying to ask my wife pretty please to help me carry this down. She helped me with Starscream and Starscream was a huge box from XM Studios, but this one's like three times the size of that one. It's insane. But uh, yeah, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I have set up my tripod and uh, got my mic on, I am mic'd up because the garage is a little echoey. And uh, we're gonna open this thing up. I think I can cut it from the bottom, flip it up, take the brown shipper off, and then lay it back down to open it up. That's the plan. Uh, I need to go get an X-Acto knife now. <sighs> Crazy. I really don't even know where I'm gonna store this box after. No more room in my storage room, and I don't want to be one of those collectors who has to rent a storage unit. Okay, there is an art box. So, yeah. I've had this thing while I'm unboxing this for on pre-order for about almost three years, maybe three years. And uh, some collectors did get this one already. And that's because they got the first release, which were having a lot of them, like a good 70 to 80% of them were having some really bad QC issues, uh, breaking kind of like the Venom bust, uh, where it was breaking at the jawline. Uh, this one had a lot of breakages right off the bat. And uh, yeah, uh, Queen Studios had to stop using that um, manufacturer in China and get somebody else to make it. So fast forward two and a half years later, they, I guess they found somebody and apparently all the issues have been solved. And this one is uh, tougher and stronger uh, than the last one. So uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't get one of the first ones. Uh, 
it would have been nice to get one that wasn't broken. Uh, I never got one, but it would have been cool. Uh, but I'm happy that, uh, whatever, this is the newer, new and improved one, even though it's supposed to look exactly the same. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. I need a fold. Jeez. Uh, I need to fold that underneath. Okay. Oh. And then tip this forward. Oh man. Okay. There we go. Am I still in frame? This box is huge. Kind of. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. All right. I am six feet tall, just to let you know. I have, I'll measure this box after. Ugh. Get this thing off. This is like unboxing a medium sized fridge. Frick. <laughs> wow. Okay, lots of padding, big, big box. Ooh, I got a certificate. Show you guys that in a second after I move this out of the way. Man, okay. This box is huge, 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 huge. That's what I was gonna do a Mr. X thing and say that's what she said, but I, actually I already said it. Anyways, uh, wow, let me move this out of the way. Much lighter when there's nothing in it. And then, if you guys can, I'll move this. There it is. Queen Studios. Iron Man Mark Seven, Life-size bust. And let's see what we got here. This is all oh, not sealed. We got a certificate of authenticity. Queen, Queen Studios collectibles. There, number zero or 682 of 1200. And then got the whole Queen Studios hologram, the Disney hologram, Marvel Studios, CO signature, art director signature. That's cool. Yeah. Will I frame this? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's all in. This is made for the Asian market here. Um, but uh, this is the authentication card. I guess I have to register it and then you scratch your serial code there. I'm not gonna publish that online, obviously. Uh, authentication card. I guess like these things, now probably with the other factory, they probably have the mold, even though they've destroyed it. Uh, a lot of recasts will come popping up and uh, yeah. Oh, it comes with kind of like a little hard case here. I guess that's what I'm supposed to put this certificate in. Been nice if they already put it in for you. Got this. This is the assembly instruction thing. I will just put this card inside here as well. I'm not gonna do the scratch card or authenticate it or whatever. Um, but when you open it up, I was told that the original ones came in two boxes, but uh, I'm, I can't confirm that because I have no idea. There's not many unboxing videos of this. Actually, there's no unboxing videos of it. Like uh, people actually unboxing it like how I am. Uh, they kind of already have it assembled or kind of apart on a table. But uh, yeah, I am unboxing it for you guys. Got to figure out where everything goes. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox it, show it to you here, and then we're gonna move everything inside. That might take me an hour or so, and then we will uh, assemble it together somewhere that's not humid. It's like 38 degrees today here in Toronto, Canada. It is hot, it is humid, it's gross. Um, but yeah, let's unbag this thing. Wow, I don't have a turntable 
to show you guys this, but you guys can kind of see it from there. This Iron Man here, clean studios on the side. There's another picture of Iron Man on the side here. On, I mean, on this side. Uh, man. Man, oh man. This box is kind of ripped. That's to be expected with something this large. I'm not going to be able to pull this thing out like I usually do with other statues. So, uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to. Hmm. I have to spin it. No, I'm going to have to flip it back onto here, pull the box upwards, and then lay the styrofoam down. Okay. Let's do that. Oh. This box has seen better days. It's okay. This one I might just keep forever. I might just have to throw this box out. Sure, these flaps are folded outwards. Now you can see the back side of this one, but upside down. Okay. Is this fun or what? Whew. Okay, now I can show you this art box. Okay. That's the front or the back, I don't know. That's the side. That's the top of it. That's the back of it. Or the front of it or whatever side. And man, it is a very unwieldy box. And it's kind of flimsy, to be honest. And then on the bottom, what's on the bottom of this? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's move this over here. Man. Crazy. Okay, where's top and where's bottom? The top would be where it says Queen Studios. Okay, so let's shimmy it more to the end here. There is a piece of masking tape on the top of this that has the number written 682. Oh boy. Okay. Guess we can move this a little closer now. And uh, can open up these straps. Oh, I'm so glad all the styrofoam bits are going to be in the garage and not all over the basement floor. How do I get this stuff off the table? I wonder the 
wife took the kid and her cousin to McDonald's. Hopefully I'll get this done before they open the garage and be like, what the heck are you doing, daddy? Okay. Let's move this assembly instructions out of the way here. I am sweating. It's hot. Okay. Please no breaks. And is this microphone wire in the way of this camera? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Moment of truth. Here we go. So far, so good. Everything looks to be there. This styrofoam alone is pretty heavy. Jeez. I'm not even going to lie. Wow. Okay. Or I'm just weak. I just want to say heavy, not weak. <laughs> All right. So what are we going to show first? We got some elbow pads. Or the, wow. That is heavy. Jeez. I don't know if they like fortified everything now. But uh, it's one of the shoulder pads there. And I read about this online that uh, they didn't put that nice metallic finish like they did on the life-size figure of Iron Man, like the statue of Iron Man, uh, which would have been cool. This is more of like a flat hot rod red. You know, it's kind of satin color. But, uh, yeah, and it's still nice. I still enjoy this. Okay, so this will be put on this table here. Uh, this is the other shoulder. Let's not drop this on the concrete floor. That looks good. And what's nice about these pegs is they wrap it in this like felt is really nice, it's soft and fuzzy, um, nice tactile feel, who cares? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it right there. All right. I hope this table does not break. Then we have the flaps. This one is not broken, nothing broken here, which is great. That detail underneath there. Right. And their masking could have been better here. My peg. I'm sure I can probably clean that up with a little bit of like a toothpick. Just, just kind of scratch the red off of the gold. The gold is nice. The gold has a nice sheen to it. Wish that was on the red. A little bit more glossy. A little more, uh, I don't know, metallic in it. And then the other flap, I'm assuming. See that there. A little bit of, uh, I don't know if you can see that little blemish there, which is fine. I'm not super nick, nick, nitpicky. Okay, ooh, this one is, I think those were the shoulder flaps that cover up the bombs. I'm not, not sure, but uh, same deal as the other one. Ooh, you got the little, little bombs here too, which would have been cool if they had all these little ones lit up. That'd be nice. And then something else, I guess, pegs onto there. Yeah, this one looks good. And this one is probably the same. This one's on the outer edge, so I would just worry about these ones and maybe the base on here, uh, just from any like shock from shipping or whatever. But uh, DHL is usually really good. They're pretty good at shipping like big heavy stuff, not like uh, UPS when they uh, brought over my XM Optimus Prime. I'll show you the video here.
scary, scary stuff. Definitely, they broke my statue on when they did that. But uh, this one was on a skid, so that helped a lot. Okay, next piece. Please don't fall. Oh, I got the arc reactor, I already see it. Okay. Another flap here. Oh, this is like the shoulder, not a, not a flap. Oh. It's like the shoulder socket. Cool. All these pieces are, are on their own are very heavy. Um, so I can only imagine when it's all assembled what the weight would be on this. And then same thing for the other side. A little bit of a blemish there, it's fine. These are all hand painted. Okay, ooh, what is this? I think these are also the shoulder covers. Look at both of them, kill two birds with one Iron Man rocket. man, don't fall. Nice. The Mark 7 suit wasn't my favorite, but uh, this was definitely my favorite life-size bust. Uh, I think I, I like it better than a Mark 3 because I had the original Sideshow Mark 3 uh, bust once. Ooh, this kind of fell out. What is this? This is a remote, I guess, to turn on the arc reactor or something, and then a USB cable to maybe charge Oh, we'll keep those together in the bag. All right, let's do the arc reactor. Wonder if to charge this thing, or does it have a charge right now? I don't even know how to turn it on. Oh, there's a clicky click. Oops, now I'm gonna get it stuck. Oh no, that's what I get. There. Ooh. Really, really cool, really nice. There's no on button here, I might have to charge it. But uh, that's it right there. Looks like a hockey puck in here. All right, let's get his noggin out. Oh man, that's heavy. Wow, you think they would make it a little lighter. Uh, a little bit of scratches in the paint. I wonder if I can just like buff that out with some wax or whatever. It's a, yeah. This is the helmet. It's kind of small, to be honest, to be life size. I mean, this is my face and the head, right? I feel like the helmet should be bigger. I'll I'll, I'll uh, compare it to my Iron Man helmet, but this seems a little small. I mean, that's me holding it there. Pretty cool. Put batteries here. Put batteries inside here. Not sure what it takes. We'll figure it out when we get inside. But this thing, wow, it's probably a good eight to 10 pounds or maybe more. Jeez, very, very heavy. Okay. I will probably put him back in this spot. And then for this body. Wow, the detail is just insane. Is that a broken piece? Nope. Phew. All right. Where do I grab this from? Oh, wow, that's heavy. It seems like there's a lot of like, you know, cast wires and stuff in here. It's Probably not the easiest. Uh, I guess I can grab it from here. Hopefully it doesn't break from here. So it seems more solid to grab. Ooh, something is, something kind of sounded like it fell. Wow. Is that a broken piece? Oh no, I see, I saw a little bit of something. 
Okay. Wow. This thing is really, really heavy. All right. Ah. Okay. Where is that broken piece? It was kind of floating around. I don't know where it fell to. Oh, here. It's a very small piece. I don't know where it broke off from. Oh, looks like it broke off from up here, right here. That is an easy fix. That is a clean break. That's a little bit of uh, crazy glue. And uh, yeah, okay, he's solid there. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and we'll do a 360 of this. I'm not carrying it over there and uh, yeah. I'll put this broken piece here so you guys can see it. Okay. Uh, it's pretty stable, it's pretty stable. Okay. Hmm. This is, I'm, I'm super excited about this. Sorry for all my kids stuff there. We're supposed to donate all that except the bike. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool detail there. I'll show you a part that I don't think is very detailed. But uh, this is the main arc reactor. I think that's how you turn it on and off. Uh, the base is so cool. Yeah, this is where I was worried about like just grabbing my brake or whatever. But I think uh, a lot of people when they were getting there, these were all broken and stuff even here. Um, and I think these flaps aren't as far out as they were on the other ones um, because they did put styrofoam I've seen in other unboxing videos of showing videos like people left the sponges still in there. Actually, this one has a lot more space. This one, I can't even put my finger there. This one, I can put my finger all the way up. So let's do that. Yeah, that's, that's a difference there. That's the back, some pretty cool detail. This looks a little cheese, it's just like, you know, I guess it won't be seen because like it's gonna be covered up with all the pieces here and whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that one's like me, didn't even need to do that. Just leave it black or silver, right? Uh, but uh, where's that broken piece? Here's that broken piece here. And it goes like right there. So quick little crazy glue fix. And that'll be as good as new. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Uh, but yeah, that's the table. So it's really not that much to assemble. Just this thing is just super duper heavy. All right, so I'm gonna move this stuff inside. And uh, yeah, we'll get to assembling it. All right, so be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm very tired, I'm very sweaty. Moved everything down. Had a long day at work today, but it's uh, having uh, this here is definitely making everything so much better. I'm gonna put the Lazy Susan here. I don't think my Lazy Susan can take the weight on this, uh, but what better way to try that out than now. Whew. Let's put this right here. I'm gonna carry over the torso. I have that broken piece I might need to glue. Give me a second, I'm off camera now. There is a good place to grab it in the back and in the front without breaking anything. And I'm gonna show you, grab it from back here and obviously from the base. I wanted to take a look underneath the thing, but honestly, I just can't. If I had a glass table, I'll just take a picture from underneath. Uh, you can grab it from here too. I don't know, but you could possibly break this piece there. This is pretty center. Without anything attached or assembled on it, it the turntable seems to do pretty good. Or the Lazy Susan. I have to move it forward. Just so we get all the weight to the center of the table. Okay, here we are. Uh, do I glue that now? 
I guess I can show you guys how I glue this thing, right? Yeah, I'll just do it on camera. I'm not gonna move it up close, but I will show you my, not that many of my statues get broken, but what's good to have is this Gorilla Glue Gel, Super Glue Gel. So it's not runny at all. It just uh, has a lot of control. I like to do this to get it to the tip. Doesn't leak and dribble all around. It's very precise. Uh, what you can do is also squeeze it and use a bit of a, like a toothpick and just dab it where you need to be. But this is like the perfect size for it. So I'll show you guys here. Like that. Just get a little dab there. That might be too much actually. And then a little dab there. Now the gel is too jelly. Okay. Put the cover on. Find where we need to put it. There we go. There, it found its seat. And it's good. I'm not going to touch it. This one looks like it broke too. Little, little claw. I don't know if I'm ever going to find that piece. But, uh, yeah. The side seems to be unscathed, but again, under, I think, oh no, that one you'll be able to see, sort of. That sucks. If anything, I'll just dab a little bit of silver paint on there and it should be all good. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to ever find that little claw. Anyways, let's start assembling this. Do I need the instructions? Eh, probably not. Right? Famous last words? Okay, we're gonna put on the shoulder pads first. What's this? No magnets. It's literally just like pressure fitted in there. And I'm probably gonna have to disassemble this thing when I find its forever spot, which is where my old Mark 42 was on top of the subwoofer. This one's kind of loose. Push it into place. That's good. Push that one into place. All right. And then this. Does it go underneath? Oh no, these are for the base. Okay. Let's get this crazy glue out of the way here. Those have magnets, nice. <coughs> Pardon my cough, I'm just recovering from a cold. There we go, and I think it's supposed to face this way. That kind of shows you center, right? Okay, and then there are all these pieces here. This is the flap for the back, 
I believe. I don't see a slot for it. Oh no, it's for the top. Okay. Let's turn this thing around. So you guys can see, it goes up top here. Pegs in very nice. It kind of adds all those little little rockets. And this one goes on the other side. You know what? I might have to put these ones on first. Right? Get those ones out of the way because those flaps kind of go over top, kind of block it. This one here. This one goes here. There we go. Gives it a nice look there. These pieces, oh, that feels a little loose. It's moving a little, it's not broken, but I guess there's just some play in it. Okay, after that, this one's way more solid. We can put this piece on. Like that. These ones are more solid. And it is kind of surreal that this thing is here in my possession and I'm assembling this and doing an unboxing video. I didn't think this day would come. I mean, sorry, I knew this day would come. Just I didn't know now. I guess like even if this came like six months from now, I'd, I'd probably still have the same reaction. Oh my gosh, it's here? I can't believe it. This one fits a lot nicer than that one. This one just molds right up to the body. I'll show you guys later. But that could be the difference between, you know, how this flap I said was much tighter than this flap. I could put my finger behind this one. This one I cannot. So that could be the difference. All right, plugs in. Well, now you can see that, geez. Now I can feel it struggling a little bit, the Lazy Susan. Okay, we have these pieces now. Where do these pieces go? Oh, it goes right here. Oh, that's the wrong side, I'm guessing. Yes. Man. Like, even though this is a statue and it's just a bust, it looks very, very dynamic. Um, just the way that the flaps open with these. It would have been really cool if you could actually actuate these down, like close them. Oh, that would have been so cool. But it would have been so expensive. All right, so this one retailed for, I believe, 1200 US. Um, it's probably a little bit more now. That I think it's sold out. Shipping was 400 US and then uh, duties and taxes. I only paid $108 for this. $113. It was $108. I think it was $108.13. $108.13. So, which isn't bad. Got here in three days. Less. I'm sorry, two days from Spec Fiction. Um, it shipped on Monday, and it's Wednesday now. Um, it didn't get picked up till Monday end of day. So, and this arrived uh, early afternoon today. Thank God my wife was home, working from home today. That is so cool. Now we're gonna put on the helmet. Maybe I should get some batteries for this thing, huh? How do I even get batteries in this? Just slide it up to open. How do you even get your fingers in there? Oh well, let me just put this on for now. I'm sure the arc reactor isn't even charged. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I have, I'm mic'd up so you could hear me saying this, this thing. 
looks so good. His chin is tucked, he's ready for battle, he's ready to launch his stuff, he's just like uh, hunkering down, about to fire his missiles. And it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. That broken piece is very obvious to me right now. <laughs> uh, wow, okay, what am I missing now? I'm missing the arc reactor. Let's uh, peel that off. I don't think there's an up and down to this. There. And it's not charged, but uh, you push it in to, to turn it on, push it to pop it out. Or maybe you just use the remote. Hold on, let's check the remote. I don't know if it has charge right now. No charge. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna charge this thing. I'm gonna get batteries into this helmet and I'll be back maybe in 30 minutes or so. But uh, yeah, let's, let's do a real unboxing review, whatever. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Batteries are in, battery is charged. Um, it was a little hard to get that battery door open. I had to get like a small kind of a watch battery screwdriver and just like push it down uh, in one of the openings and it clicked open. Um, I didn't click it back because it's probably gonna break. Uh, I just put in the lithium batteries, Energizer lithiums. They don't leak for a good 10 plus years so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, and they're great. And then I charged this up for, I guess, like 15, 20 minutes and it was good. And here's the remote here. So with the remote, you can change the sequence. So that's off. Next one is kind of like, is that just on? All right, and then that's arc reactor kind of like losing power. And then there's this one kind of just like, I don't know what that one did. That just kind of did a cyclotron, Ghostbuster cyclotron spin and then turn on. And then that's just on. I wonder if this is like a pulsing one. This is pulsing. It's kind of getting dimmer. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. And it gets brighter. And then, oops, I pressed it twice. So that was like the, so this is just kind of like a startup. That I don't really care for that. This one's pretty cool, just straight on. And this is the pulsing one. And this is the strobe knee. I think I enjoy either on or the, this is just like, he's just fully powered up. And then this, this one gives it some, I don't know, like kind of like a heartbeat, kind of more rhythmic, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's him right there, guys. And then you just press this and it pops out. And you pull it out, charge it, you put it back in. I thought that maybe the, the pushing would turn it on. And what sucks is this battery, this remote only controls this. It doesn't control that. Um, they could have just ran a wire up through it and it would have been great. Put batteries inside this thing and then it would use both to power both. Or even still use batteries in there um, and use kind of like a dual battery to turn it on. So that kind of sucks. You got to take off the head and switch the switch way inside here where it would have been nice if they put a switch at the base of the skull behind here and you could just like flip it. So I'm going to try to jerry rig a switch. I'm going to put like a battery pack in there and then put kind of like a switch with a wire just kind of underneath here and I can turn it on and off instead of taking his head off. Because like, you know, what if you're trying to show your friends and you're just excited and then the head slips out of your hand, hits the floor and breaks, right? That's just, that's not good. Um, I'm going to grab my Iron Man helmet and I'm going to show you guys a comparison of size. Uh, I feel like this Queen Studios head is a little small. Or, I don't know. Yeah, it seems a little small. This is like a the killer body Iron Man helmet here. And it looks a little bigger than that. So maybe it's slightly underscaled. Like you can kind of tell, like this armor should be like, like I'm a skinny guy. It should be like way wider than me, right? so heavy. All right, so put that 
down here. Table, don't tip forward. That, uh, if we put this here. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's turn it on. Yeah, that helmet just looks really big on that body. But it doesn't look bad either. <laughs> he just looks more kind of like scrunched up, more stocky, I guess. Oh man, I can see in the, in the video, the, the LED is kind of flickering. Um, well, because of the pulsing. But yeah, I mean, yeah, you can definitely see the size difference there. But this is kind of a cool way to display this helmet. And you know what? The silver kind of goes with the silver here. It doesn't need to have the gold. And I could just take it off and wear it. And that would just be a pretty cool party trick, I would say. I could turn them sideways like this, like how it was, how it's uh, done with the, the actual mask. There, you can, it sits there perfectly. Ha! Huh. If only it was the right scale to this, it would just have been, I just put this one away, and then I could just switch it on and off from underneath the chin. <laughs> I'll just do a color printout of Stone Tony Stark's face. Uh, that'd be too good. Yeah. Anyways, um, just want to show you the size comparison there on that. I'll put this away over here. And then I'll put uh, Iron Man's head back on, the proper one. Oh, that hurt. Like I had my fingers there and it just kind of slipped into place. It just like crushed it. That's how heavy that thing is. All right. So now we're gonna do some close-ups, I guess. Um, get the camera off the tripod here. And then we'll start off with the base here. Really, really nice detail. I kind of miss having, you know, the Avengers or Marvel Studios plaque Iron Man that could go here, um, like the other Queen Studios ones have. Um, but removable, of course, because sometimes it's, it looks a lot cleaner like this. Detail in everything, right? Like even these round things there. Oh man, I can't even turn this. I hope, I hope it doesn't fall. Jeez. And then you can see here, these were those delicate pieces I was talking about. I think a lot of people are having breakage issues on those. Look at the you know, shock here, shock absorber. Really see it here. Actually, it's really good. And this is the back here. Yeah, this is more gap here, and then nice flush up against there. That's what I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna keep spinning this. See all that detail there. Yeah, and then moving up to the torso. That is the arc reactor looks more blue in my video than in person. It's actually just a bright white. Well, quite a bit of detail for, for this suit, like especially in there. Like, look at that. There's so much going on. And like even behind there, you can even see stuff in there. And you can go underneath here. This is his armpit. Like there's just so much going on. This looks so good. And then of course inside the wings or the flaps here. Flaps there. There's just so much going on. And they're doing such a good job with it too. Good job, Queen Studios. Uh, this is kind of one of the cheaper busts, I think, uh, that Queen had. So I had to jump on this. And plus I sold my, my other Sideshow Iron Man, Mark 42. Now this one just destroys it. 
in quality, in weight, in detail. It's just so good. I'm just moving up to his neck there. You can just see all that detail there. They did not miss a thing. It's the top of his shoulders. I'm gonna stand up now. Wow. What's this move in there? But uh, you can see right here, all the little rockets there. That is showing. That could have been done a little bit nicer, um, but especially with all the detail here underneath. Like these kind of look cheesy. Like that's supposed to be like what, oil spurts? Like somebody just looked like they took a Sharpie and just went zoop, zoop, zoop. Like that could have been done a little bit better, especially with all this detail down here. They could have did more heat burn marks, adding like purples and blues in there. Um, that looks like a little heat sink there. I mean, maybe that's something I can do with a paintbrush to make it look nice. This is the other side, same thing. Like that just looks so cheesy, All right? What do you guys think? That just doesn't look great. Like they could have made actual drip looking marks instead of that. So my broken piece, it's supposed to look like this. Uh, so it's just missing that little prong right there. I'm gonna go and try to look for it and uh, attach it, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to find it. I thought that there was like a cover, it would cover it up. So that's the one that I glued back. It's holding strong, looks good. And uh, yeah, that this is the face. You know, not much to write home about there. Just, you know, it's Iron Man's helmet it protects his noggin. And, uh, yeah, that is it, guys. Let me put this back on the tripod here. This is probably going to be my last statue for a while. I mean, I'm that display case is already full. Um, I've been waiting for this for three years. And in the meantime, I've been buying stuff and putting it in its spot. It's supposed to go in the spot like over where Baby Yoda is now with my original Nintendo and my Lego Wally. -E. Uh, that's where the Mark 42 was from Sideshow. And I sold that uh, to make way for him, but you know, two and a half years later, he finally shows up. So now I got to clear all that stuff out of there, put him there, hopefully it fits because he's kind of deep. Uh, and uh, he's going to look great. Wow. Um, but yeah, this, this hobby is getting way too expensive. I mean, Shipping four hundred dollars U.S. Uh, he was twelve hundred U.S. So sixteen hundred U.S. and two thousand odd dollars Canadian. Uh, it's getting way too expensive. Uh, it's a good time for me to kind of stop. And if I were to get new pieces, I would sell old pieces to make room for it. It's just I don't have any room or and running out of money. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, so this will probably be my last uh, statue unboxing for a while. I don't think I have anything else on pre-order. I've just been anticipating this one. Um, it's just a very expensive hobby. But yes, let me know what you guys think of this. I personally think that this is awesome. Um, I'm going to be snapping photos of this all night long, um, posting up on social media and on the Facebook groups and whatnot. But uh, very, very happy. Thank you, Todd at Spec Fiction Collectibles. Um, thank you, Queen Studios. You guys did a stellar job. And you can see that the arc reactor is actually running out of batteries. It's going pretty dim right now. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, is the hobby getting too expensive? Was this worth 1200 US plus shipping? Um, to me, it kind of was. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Happy collecting.